Did you know that there's an OBS plugin that is similar to Windows Task Manager? It allows you to check all the sources and scenes and see which use the most resources. It's really sick. And today I'm going to show you how to set it up. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. All right. So first things first, what we need to do is install the plugin itself. It's called OBS Source Profiler. It's made by Exceldro, the one guy that makes most of the OBS plugins that we cover on the channel. It's still in alpha, so it still might have some bugs, but they're being uh, updated really quickly. So you can use it. It's really, really good. What you need to do is access the link that is in the description below. It will open this page right here. You click on the latest version, which is currently 007. And then you simply choose whichever installer you want. Do you want the Mac OS, Windows, the zip file or the Linux file? I usually just use the zip file, but if you are a uh, new, you can just use the installer, run the installer, go next, 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 make sure your OBS is closed. And that's basically it. I'm going to show you how to install it by using the zip file. If you go to your downloads, you will see this zip file right over here. You can simply just extract it right over here. It will give you the normal folder and then you will see the files right over here. Make sure to just choose both of these files, copy them and then go into your OBS folder and just simply paste them. I usually do this uh, do it this way. That way, you know, uh, sometimes the installers don't work properly. It doesn't really install the plugin. You just copy it to your C program files, OBS studio, and just paste it over there. So we go to C program files right over here, find OBS studio, which is right over here, and then simply paste the files right here. Click overwrite and you have the plugin installed. Now let's open up the OBS and let me show you how to actually use the plugin. All right, so we have OBS opened. I forgot to mention that this plugin only works on the latest OBS, which is currently 31.0.0. You can use it, you know, after 31, but make sure that if you don't have OBS installed, you know, updated to 31, make sure to do that prior to this installation. So now you simply go to tools and you will see source profiler right over here. You click on it and it will open up this window that shows every single uh, source and scene we have. You can just simply click here, go to all. So it shows everything. And we have all of these scenes and we can see how much CPU and how much GPU they use. I only use this profile for recording videos, so I don't really have too much stuff here. But if I use my streaming profile, it would have a lot of a lot more files, a lot more sources, and you can see how much CPU and GPU they use. If you're using, for example, 4K video files, they will use more GPU and you can replace them with, for example, 1080p files or even 720 files. It's really, really good. I highly recommend checking this out. It, it acts as a task manager in Windows, so you can see which sources cause your PC to lag or your OBS to lag and simply adjust them that way. It's really, really easy to use, really simple, and it does magic. That's basically it. Hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. And if you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. Anyway, if you want to see more of my OBS guides, make sure to check this one right over here. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.